Hi, let me ask you a question. Do you have any family treasures that you decorate with or that you'd like to decorate with if you could figure out what to do with them? Well, so do I. This is going to be a different video than I have filmed before. And in case you're new, my name is Roseanne with a Z and I'm gonna do my very best to do this in one shot. And the reason why is because we've been really sick around our house. We've had a number of cases of COVID and I have had something uh, going on more than a week now. It has symptoms of COVID and yet I've never gotten a COVID positive test. And yet I've been quite sick and I'm still sick, but I need to get going again. And I haven't hardly stood up the last couple of days. And so I thought, let me try doing something and see if it will help me on my road to getting better. So if I seem a little less perky than usual, that's why. I had in mind for this week's Thursday decorating video to do some revamps of some thrift store things that I bought, but I haven't had the energy to do it. I thought maybe what I could do is to show you some of my family treasures. Now these cabinets behind me, they hold some of my decor and family treasures. You probably can't see this, but our regular dishes, all kinds of things. But I have a number of things in here that I've gotten from my grandmother that I'd like to show you. And I want to try to use them more in my decor than I've been using them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any of these or if you have any comments about any of these things that I have, maybe you know some details that I don't know, I will tell you the best I know about them. First, I'm going to start with a little odd thing. This is called a frog. My grandmother really loved flowers and she liked to decorate with flowers and so what you do with the frog is you put water in the bottom and then it has these little holes and you can put your blooms in there and they sit in water and it does make a nice little arrangement. She has a couple of interesting things that her sister-in-law brought her back when she traveled. She used to travel a lot and sometimes with some of the other family members. And so there's a number of things made in Japan. This is Noritake, hand painted, made in Japan. I think this is a little jewelry tray. If you know anything about this, I'd sure love to know. I've always assumed it's a jewelry tray, but maybe it's not. It has this little handle. This set is interesting, and it was made in Occupy Japan. They went over there really pretty early after World War II. Not my grandparents, some of her, their siblings. She had this in her china cabinet, her little corner china cabinet her brother had made her. My grandmother was far from wealthy. They really went through the depression hard. They were farmers. They didn't have much and mostly what she had, she was given. So this little set came from Occupy Japan. This was my mother's. She was given this when she was a little girl along with a little wood kitchen that her uncle made her. And it's Wallace TG China. Have any of you ever heard of that? Now my grandmother was given this as a wedding present. So you can see the mark. Does that sound familiar to anyone? I've shown this before, but this actually came in something like some wheat or some flour or some laundry soap. And it says Pastoral Taylor Smith and Taylor. She had this and then my grandpa took it out in the shed. And when I found it, it was out in his shed with a whole bunch of nails on it. Grandma was also given this bowl as a wedding present. And it is crown ivory. And I just think it's a beautiful bowl. It's got this really neat iridescent finish to it. This has always been one of my favorite things. She had this again in her china closet. Sometimes she'd use it. It is whole R-R-T-U-S-A. See if you can see the mark. I think it's, it's really beautiful. Um, 
For some reason, I'm thinking the 40s, maybe the 30s or the 40s. If you know anything about this, I'd love to not hear about it. Here's another little piece made in Japan, VOA GCO ceramics. So this little bud vase, and sometimes she would put roses in, a rose in it, a single rose. These are nothing fancy. I don't have any idea what they are, where she got them, and the gold is all wearing off. But these are some vases she used to put roses in as well. She mostly grew roses and petunias, bright pink petunias. She'd have pink petunias all over front of her home. This is interesting. To me, this looks like it's in deco. This has got these beautiful, just the way the lines are, seems to be art deco to me with the coloring. It says, lay pointers. Why Pritchard, it was made in England. It's designed by Dower Long Island, New York, and it was made in England. I wouldn't know which time period it is. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen this before, and it actually has a lid that's cracked. My grandma always called this a bean pot, and she would make, cook baked beans in there and bake them for a very long time. So, have you ever seen one of these before? And then, of course, everyone knows what this is. This is a crock. I wish I had her large pickle crock. She used to make the most wonderful sweet pickles. But this is a smaller crock that belonged to her. This was at my grandmother's. I actually gave this to my mother. We were in Montana. She had built this home that had burgundy and green in it, had a formal room with her piano. And we were in the Air Force and we were really quite broke. But I wanted to give her something really special for Christmas. So I went to an antique store and found this. It cost me $18, but at the time it seemed like a fortune. And it has 14 karat gold on it. No, 23 karat gold. It's by Imperial. It says Imperial Service Plates Salem China Company made in the USA. Do you know anything about something like this? It is 23 karat gold, so I felt like it was a very nice thing. Now, if we looked in here, we would see a lot of my decor. My pumpkins and some of my odd dishes. I don't have anything particularly fancy. I used to decorate my home in the 90s like cottage core. What is really popular with cottage core right now? And I had lots of florals blues and greens and pinks. I got tired of it. felt like I needed to have a clean out, so I got rid of it. Right now I'm wishing I would have kept some of those interesting things I had. I have these two little, my, this is my grandmother's as well. And it has a silver rim and this, this design is etched. And then I have a set of these. I think these are the most interesting little glasses. I've never seen anything like that before, but I do have the whole set of these, which we only get out for very special occasions. If you've seen about anything that you recognize or you have anything that you would like to tell me about, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. For those of you who keep coming back, I appreciate you so much. And I appreciate you being patient with this video. I mostly did it just to give myself a little bit of boost, a reason to stand up and do something. I'm sure I'll feel better soon. I'm sure I will. This is just temporary and I keep reminding myself. This has been a couple of difficult years for our people. I mean, all of us had the protection that was offered. I'll say that. I don't know if I can say the words, but all of us in our family had the protection. My son had COVID early on, but then this new one, I think it's the new variant, just went barreling through our family. We've had a last couple of weeks have been very interesting. I'm in a weird situation. On one hand, I wish I get that positive so I would know for sure what I've got. On the other hand, I wouldn't, I don't know what I, 
what I'm wanting. I, I read there's a lot of false negatives out there and there are different reasons. And one potential reason is I take a medication for my reflux that actually they use to treat it. So maybe that's why. Or maybe the protection I had has protected me enough that I don't have enough viral load up in my nasal cavities. I don't know, but I've been pretty sick. So I really appreciate you. I appreciate you watching my channel. I have some really, as I've been sitting thinking, I've been thinking about what I can do for fall. I'm wanting to do some different things that I've done before. Hopefully things that look classier than what I've done before. I'm anxious to get well enough that I can start working on those things and because I want to do some collecting and then I would do a haul and decorate my home and show you that. So I hope you'll stick around. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. If you'll look in my videos, you'll see that I'm a little bit higher energy than I am right now. But I just really wanted to connect with you and connect with you and to say hello and to let you know I am here and I care about you. I'm really trying to create the best content I can that will just bring you a little bit of enjoyment in your life. And for now, I'm going to go. So, bye.